10th to the 12th of May 2023 with the Lovelocks of Sunning Hill. Rough cut photo trails and video clips. I'll start with a standard of introduction, uh, but most of the start of this will be related to the robot boat work. So, 22 Armitage Court, and with warning signs about air cats, and you'll see lots of pictures of the cats. Uh, yes, the garden sculpture that June bought me for my last birthday present. And this has been known as Robin's Corner in some circles for a while, because it's where GPS was tested from the late 1980s at that spot. And, right, only reason I'm pausing here is one of the, my garden projects in recent weeks, months, has been cat forts, including for Toadie. And you can't see him because he's black, but he is in there. But we know he's there because of the light. And yes, there are mice everywhere. So what I'm going to see, show you rather now, is what was only filmed as clips uh, few minutes ago and it'll be at the back end of the photo trail is Snoopy's robot boat that survived six weeks at sea and uh, I'm, what's actually running now is a test using a very old autopilot going way back and it's got text-to-speech so you can hear what it's doing and we're using that to test the rudder linkage after having replaced the old corroded servo by one of identical product and so that was only done minutes ago uh, and that will go in uh, a document but right going back to the broader picture Snoopy's robot boat that made its attempt in 2022 and survived six weeks at sea that's the camper that we used to take him down to the coast. That's some battle damage. June said Robin did it. Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. I know a load of people have seen all this stuff before, but I've got to point things out for health and safety purposes. For example, there are cameras everywhere. And you need to look at the small print about the water squirters. Okay, I've done the health and safety. So now I'll go in and because some of the guys who actually may look at some of these videos uh, are interested in the robot boats. Oh, now of course the TV has timed out. This is June's TV. So let me just see if it comes back on. Yes, that is connected to a cheap little, I think it's 70 pound PC. Uh, and the picture that's on there is from the blog and it shows the detailed information from 2020 which was the layout and there's some text to speech connected to the autopi to check it out and so what we're currently working on is replacement of that servo and checking that that linkage geometry is correct sorry loads of words but it's easier seeing with pictures and video so now through Briefly, yes, lots of rubbish in here. All gonna be tidied out into the right place sometime or other. And go briefly into the kitchen. And June hasn't been back very long from a shopping expedition to get stuff for a wedding that's coming along. So that'll be on the photo trail. And of course we've got tennis on there. So, now through, oh yeah, quick glance at the study. Yeah, emails and all sorts of things. That's it. So, we're gonna run into four photo trails uh, and effectively, these photo trails are an aid to my memory, but also, made all the more powerful by being shared openly with many friends around the world many of them experts in particular areas 
and of course occasionally somebody else finds it and can help and whatever it is charitable causes fun projects like robot boats or whatever so now we're going to run into that long set of photo trials Wednesday the 10th of May 2023 photo trail 350 photos in 12 minutes starting with just a few of the photos to give you a flavor of the content of these 12 minutes yes a lot was about trackers and testing trackers on their trips out including to a radio control shop and news that we got on the net oh yes I had my hair cut that was the before and that's the after and booked a hotel for holiday yes and that's the end of it let's go into the photo trail so check in the equipment running and voltage batteries have gone flat and so it's a matter of charging up the battery and that's okay now and what else was there yeah it looks like I was having my two Weetabix and checking the counters and checking the weather the showers would affect what we do and June is at the tennis club yes we can see you because she's wearing her tracker me checking out the camera I keep mistaking leaving it on flash June gets back from tennis in fact Samantha was there as well and yes pub grub emails oh and get some news from an old friend <laughs> Pete Wilson took all the photos at their wedding many years ago yeah I got that from there's the photos that Pete took yes that's the guy yeah and June's tracker and that's working okay so where is she off? Off to Long Acres. So June's going down to Long Acres to get some plants. Meanwhile, I'll carry on with other things, but June will be checking the trackers out in the car because she took my car. And yes, Toady in his fort watching. June goes off. Ah, oh, looks like my trip down the road to have my hair cut watched by Bentley as I leave inspecting my hair and we leave our place walk off down the main road I love the sign here not just the coronation one but the go slow sign past the comrades club and we get to the free wham barber shop yeah that's before yeah interesting leaflets inside I picked up one of those and that's after then back over the railway bridge and now I'm going yes I'm going further down into the village here capture the flags that are still up and yes I wanted to go into Sun and Hill Wine but I went into the one stop Tesco in order to get some cash and also came out there with my Stuff, and then decided to have a snack at the patisserie and then my walk back home with all that Red Bull and get back and I got back at about the same time June did from the garden centre so that means the trackers will be checked out from her trip there Samantha's still working from home I come into the lounge and yes that was the walk I did back so let's just see how the trackers did now that's the trackers in the car the spot T which anybody can replace ah oh, what something wasn't quite right ah that was the other tracker and I think the battery had gone flat on that or perhaps anyhow this is the go top tracker which uh, checking out just check the weather looks as though we've got some heavy showers coming in that does influence what we do 
but there's a difference between forecasted and what actually happens and you can easily use that and this is into the check in the trackers the positions yeah power getting low so that needs charging up and so that's the battery from air stuff being charged up and that's okay now plug that in of course hindered by toady and now the gotop tracker and it's a matter of finding out what places you put the meter across to see whether the battery is low um, and this is also useful it, you, people wouldn't normally do this but it is important if we're trying to understand its strengths and limitations and possibly make very simple changes right that is using the camera by mistake with the flash on there's the tracker sp spot trace that is going into the robot boat to replace the bad one and all I'm doing is swapping the ordinary batteries these aren't the recommended batteries but it still went well and I've there's just checking the rain because that affects what we do and that tracker's on test that seems to work good so that one can go in the car and now there's the other tracker which is the so-called spot t2 in a box that I've used for experimenting for years and again people can look at that yes it's Bentley and there's the camera try swapping the battery in the camera and yes there's the two pussycats overseeing the go top tests and that's on the website and now we're looking at the track from it and it all seems to be doing the right thing yeah that one is in the car and that's the uh, second one which is going to be going in the car as well there so they're both in there garden oh that's the planned route out to radio control place that we found on the net I hadn't been there before and it was out near other friends and family so we use that as an opportunity to check the trackers and of course check out the place and the interesting guy there so that is now the spot tracker I think yes that's the spot tracker in the back there's two of those and we're checking the one that is pretty well always in the car and on June's smartphone we can actually see the progress almost second by second just by visiting their website and yeah so it looks as though we've got there the right place stuff is still in the car so we go into the shop have a look around at the stuff in the shop and yeah speak to the lovely guy there and then we're off back home and check in the trackers as we go past Inton Pastures there we go and then get in near the motorway junction go over that there we go gone over it all working very well and where are we now yes we're approaching home into Armitage Court and there we go that's the track getting home and that was from the go top working well ah yes and there's Toady to greet us in his little cat fort and we can see he's in there because the little light on the top that comes in so back into the house yeah that's the route we did and there's the camera bag that June got for me that arrived from Amazon so I've now got a bag I've lost the other ones not sure what happened to them and so carrying on checking stuff so that is off the go top site showing the detailed track 
of that journey and that's worked well. Now the spot trace, the one that's going in the boat, and that was working well as well after having changed the batteries. Obviously in the boat it will have the solar power going into it. And this looks like my personal pendant tracker that both June and I have got. And that's, that's the lovely slogan. Toady looks as though he's eating. June is rustling up dinner. And I take the food through into the naughty corner in the lounge where I can watch CCTV or in fact take a look at emails. Uh, including Enrico, because uh, Sicily. Oh, time to put the peanuts out. So, pop those peanuts out in the usual places and then use the opportunity to see how much the plants have grown, like the bluebells down the end of the garden. Grass needs cutting, but there's the gunnera. Uh, but most of the bottom end of the garden is not grass, but flowers. So a few pictures of that. All coming into bloom and making my way back. Oh, got the uh, yeah, that was. We saw the wild fennel from Sicily. Can't keep up with this. That's the wisteria, and a few pictures of the pond and flowers around it. Yes, bits of garden sculpture back into the lounge. Emails, oh that's a reserva reservation of the hotel. Hopefully that goes through. And that was a lovely video on the holiday page from the 2019 Sicily holiday. And a few pictures. Yes, there's the fox coming for the peanuts. And there's the hedgehog. And that is Toady on the roof. So that's about it. June is watching the TV and news. And that wraps up the video. Thursday the 11th of May 2023. 342 photos in 12 minutes including this one minute just a few photos to give you a flavor of the content yes checking out trackers on all their journeys including the lovely visit to the garden open for the national garden scheme charity over at early and that was not very far from my aunt joy sharp who we visited for chat and look at the garden and then over to the Berkshire Air Museum at Woodley where my dad was trained in a tiger moth to fly for that uh, operation and I had had a visit there before in the last year or two and then over to Long Acres and back home where we managed to rescue a mouse from Toady and let him go Naughty pussycat. Well, not really. He's very well trained. So that's the summary. And so now, I think we'll be going into the actual photos. So there's Bentley from opposite, making a nuisance of himself. Well, I do various things. Yes, the COVID page update. And booking air holiday in Sicily or at least the hotel and doing a bit of processing on videos to record progress and checking batteries on trackers get get the voltage right and where are we now yes found there's a five cell battery there so right there's the booking online of the place at early open for the National Garden Scheme that's the route over there, so it just confirms the distance. Make a phone call to me, Auntie Joy, 
just check we might be possible to visit in afterwards check the weather that's very important yeah June's just confirming because June's got to drive but I'm still waiting to hear about my license and we're off and just pointing out the various trackers that have been tested many for the robot boat there's spot trace and so we're now look we're leaving out of Ascot and I'm using June's smartphone to check progress on the GoTop trackers and also heard a news item so this is the journey and checking out progress on June's smartphone so we're approaching the place and must be just around the corner yes I think we're there into the lovely garden open for the National Garden Scheme and didn't take any photos of the lovely people <laughs> and that was much of the pleasure I had been there before June hadn't uh, and uh, so for her it was the first time to see the lovely place lots of things yeah not just flowers but little artifacts <laughs> and of course June's keen on stuff in a greenhouse I won't attempt to name these plants I'm sure some people will recognize them and I enjoy going down the end of the garden because <laughs> the gnome in the pond believe me now I compared it with ours not sure what brand his was That's down the end of the garden. There we go. Bramley seedling. So that's an apple tree. And making our way back. Yeah, June's pointed out something, which is a... Yes, across the road, that tree. Lovely little sculptures. June pointing out the roses coming into flower oh dear I checked out a swing or hanging and I thought I'd broken it but luckily I was able to pop it back in place and yeah those daisies I loved some of the stuff up <laughs> from Alice in Wonderland I think Mad Hatter's tea party all bumped my head no damage done June photographs the wisteria we've got quite a lot of that and time to relax in the sunshine a red kite flew over got a glimpse of that and time for coffee and cake that effectively was my lunch lovely bit of sculpture now that's chatting to joy and so we're going over there afterwards so it's confirmed yeah no problem checked out the scarecrow and June noticed on the way out a lovely power pop container so that was leaving the house open for the National Garden Scheme and of course everywhere we're going we're checking out the trackers and of course robot boats is not the only way they're used and yeah, there we go. Hello, Joy. And while I was there, I was checking out the Museum of Aviation. A few photos. Joy pointing out the garden. And so we're off to the Museum of Berkshire Aviation and that has memories for me because of my dad who tr was trained to fly there 
broke his ankle on a Targa Moth, which meant he didn't reach too far operation, and I had had a visit there earlier. So that's Targa Moth. And then lovely flowers just in the vicinity of the place, because it was the same route into... There, anybody wants to see the opening times, they can look there, or check online, of course, if the internet is working. <laughs> So now we're on our way to the next place, again checking the trackers and checking the rain. See what the situation is on rain, because we looked as though we were running into some heavy showers and June wanted to swing into Long Acres, decided where we put the stuff, which is a couple of bags of compost found the back seats were the best place, made sure that it wasn't dirty. Lovely lads inside made sure of that. And got home and again looking at what the situation is on rain, what it predicts. And of course there's a difference. So observation is a lot more accurate. And so you can sometimes look back at the pattern on the Met Office site and get a better indication of what it's going to be like in the next well, minutes really, rather than hours. Yeah, so I managed to, in a pause in the rain, move the compost where it belongs. Yeah, we've got quite a few puddles there, something else to be done. Yeah, robot boat. The test is still going. Yeah, looking at the observation and when we're likely to get the rain. Yes, that's the stuff that's going to replace. And now looking at the tracks that anybody could have uh, checked at any time in terms of where we were as reported by things like the spot tracker to go in Snoopy's robot boat and where it has been, including getting back home. Yeah, all working good. Then let's look at the more experimental trackers, the low-cost go-top solar-powered trackers. And yeah, not so sure about that. I think the batteries have probably gone low. It looked as though they stopped working. Yeah, checking both of those. Yeah, so put them on charge. And how about my pendant? I call it a pocket cam. And we've been using those for years. And yeah, let's see, that's where it says we went. And of course that's on foot. So that looks about right. There we are. Visit to the museum, visit to Long Acres. Well, roughly near Long Acres. Of course, sometimes these trackers use the best they can do based on mobile phone. Anyhow, that was working fine. Then my reservation was confirmed uh, for Sicily. Oh yeah, time for a bite to eat. June had already prepared it for me, so I just heated it up. Or at least I put it on the plate, but I'm so busy with other things. Right, so I can have a snack there while in the lounge. Then June joins me and watching tennis, of course. Time to put the peanuts out and in the usual places, including down the end of the garden or on the lower bridge, and a quick few snaps in the garden. Other videos of the trails, yes, a garden sculpture around the top pond. Bentley, watching me put out the peanuts out the front. Coming back, ah, oh, the little light's on, which means that Toady is inside his fort. You hardly see him. And, yeah, the peanuts there. And that's me on the closed circuit TV having deployed the peanuts. And, yeah, now I'm doing a few checks. So there's the fox visiting for the peanuts. There's the hedgehog. There's Bentley. An interaction between Bentley and the fox. Yeah, there's the GoTop trackers charging, and this looks like the Eurovision. And there's the mouse. 
and he managed, yes, <laughs> we made sure Tony couldn't get to him while we used the procedure of a plastic mug and a bit of cardboard under it uh, to take him outside and release him somewhere. So there we are, releasing him, and so he runs away. Back into the lounge, yes, there's the news on. What's the news? There's Tony relaxing, watching the television some of the time. And that is it, I think. Friday the 12th of May, 2023. 151 photos in five minutes. Yes, it was pub lunch with five grumpy old men. And June, on her travels, we were able to see where she was, so we knew, ah, oh, that's why she was in Reading. Yes, and a load of robot boat related work. So that's June getting back. So that gives you a flavour of the content. Yes, some wedding gear, and looks quite good on me as well. So now into the nitty gritty of the robot boat work or rather the photo trail, starting with, yes, a bit of editing of the video. June was at tennis and the tracker worked quite well to show where she was. The Royal Ascot Tennis Club, Samantha working, robot boat, Toady on duty, yes, a bit of video editing. June gets back from tennis, amused by the pussycat. So, June's got to get changed out of her tennis gear. The tracker is very, very useful. So, yeah, what's that? Oh, yes, checking that stuff was working okay. Yeah, I, my knee was playing up a bit. But I carried on with a bit more video editing, which is related to what you're watching now. Yeah, that was tall saying it was done. And the tracker became quite important later. And that was all working okay. Yeah. And so are we off to the Red Lion? Yes, for pub lunch. So there were five grumpy old men all together. That's John. That was some lovely food. Mmm. And so that was, we leave the red line, and then we noticed when we got back for coffee, they said, oh, where's June? Oh, Samantha said she'd gone to Reading, and I realised, ah, oh, she must be going shopping for gear to wear at the wedding that's coming up in August. So it meant every now and again we could check. This looks as though that's Terry leaving, and there's Toady, and there's... Now, a bit of work on the robot boat. The videos show that in much more detail and clearer. But these photos are a useful record of things. So that includes June's journey back. So checking that while I'm working on the boat. In fact, we're doing several jobs in parallel. Yes, occasionally the pussycats come to annoy us. So June's well on her way back. So then go out and thinking, well, oh, the pussycats were worth taking some photographs of. And of course, the timing was right for seeing June when she got back. There's Toady, there's Bentley. Yes, they were up to mischief, just for a change. Yes, that's the garden sculpture that you see in most of the introductions. And on guard you down. June arrives from her shopping trip to Reading. So it puts the car away. Chance to glimpse the lovely tidy garage. And get stuff out. And she says, oh, it doesn't mind if other people see what she's bought. And puts the, my car back. Of course, I'm still not allowed to drive it. Hopefully the DVI will sort things out. Yes, it's got the robot boat and trackers being tested. And here's the clothing. It tends to it quite suits me. So maybe some argument about who's going to wear it. 
That's the camera I'm getting the hang of using now, just about. And to get the old servo out, I had to resort to drilling out the rusted in screws. So this is the old servo that had uh, been at sea, got seawater, rusted, solid, so not just working, it was difficult to get out. But eventually I managed to get it out. And then of course I could pop a new servo in of the identical product and use the autopilot to test it. And the main thing is making sure the rudder geometry was correct. So when the servo went hard left, the, it would move right. And of course the important thing was that it was centre. So we've got the method of testing it when I do those linkages properly. Good solution. Step forward on the boat. That's the means of testing it with an old autopilot. And what's changed is we've just replaced the old broken servo by an identical type. And we're just checking out the linkage. A lot of this stuff will be changed, uh, but not the geometry. So that's what we're checking out now. And that's working well. That's quite a, an improvement. <laughs> Step forward. The key thing was using that as a means of testing things. Because on startup, when I apply power, uh, it goes through a left, right, center rudder movement. So let's try that on another clip. Right, I'm now using a tripod. And what I'm going to do is apply power, and we should get a left, center, right, center rudder movement. There we go. And then it goes into looking for tracking and starts steering. And that's all done by this little old water pilot acting as a just a test to check the rudder geometry after replacing the old servo by a new one. But there is a load of work that's got to be done to do the whole job properly. But at least that checks that we've got the geometry correct. In fact, that's an old linkage there. So that's all working. Seven miles, Left and that's the really old autopilot using the text to speech so you can hear what it's doing. Seven miles, Left so it's coming along nicely. Seven miles, Left I warned you. I warned you that it would be a long load of photo trails and video clips at the end, uh, but uh, that I have to do. Obviously very rough cut. So it only remains to say, look after yourselves, stay safe and enjoy what days we have.